in microphones no more. They don't send a motherfucker out like this, like. Testing, testing, testing. All right, put this up under your shirt and shit like that. They don't do that no more. They got cameras in your watch, recorders in your phone, glasses. They change with the time. They don't mind you, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck you got to do. So if a record label has to do a, a backdoor deal to, and make it look organic, your make your rise look organic because Rage Against the Machine is in right now. So as long as that's what the fuck it is, let's run with that. I don't give a fuck about you saying who the fuck you with. These, have you not noticed that these motherfucking white supremacists or white people in general don't give a fuck about showing you every dollar that they got in all they fucking chains? When you see the Migos or any one of these niggas who got a million dollars, you know they got a million dollars because you see that shit, they got every cent of it on them at all times. I keep telling y'all about Home and Garden TV. I watch that shit every fucking night as I'm going to sleep because I gotta watch something boring to go to sleep, whatever like that. But you see these motherfuckers who be having a million dollar budget for a fucking house to buy and a whole nother 400000 to to renovate that shit, knock down walls, put in pipelines and all kind of shit. Wearing regular clothes, driving a Toyota. A nigga can't get $100 without goddamn... Big per blood stuff in the whole goddamn blood, nigga. Broke as fuck. A nigga can't have no money without everybody fucking knowing it. Knowing goddamn well, niggas kill you for that shit. You white folk walk around like that, like my um, like my nigga said, dog. Niggas walk around with with uh three hundred dollar shoes on their feet, not. Niggas walk around with a damn near a whole car payment on their fucking feet. White boy walk around in, in toe up jeans, muscle shirts, and fucking sandals, driving real deal BMWs and Mercedes in high school. Nigga ain't got shit going on, but got a whole fucking on his fucking feet. I told my brother yesterday, and let's go back to the goddamn shit I'm telling y'all about black fucking business. If you do not invest in black business, I would tell my nigga um, that own legit money tees. You know the boy down in the Tampa area. As I keep telling y'all, legit money is um, it's owned by Darren Holloway. And what he does is he hires any felon that wants to work. If you're in the Tampa, Florida area, whatever like that, you need to holler at him. His uh, shit is always in the description box, whatever like that. Um, and you all got all this contact information. Go get you a job. Um, I think he just cleared um, all his work. He got like three racks like last month. Some some big shit, whatever like that. Something just happened with this shit. So he's making sure that families are fed and shit like that. A real black man is trying to help. That's trying to help the black community by giving the black man who's been shunned by the rest of the fucking world, giving him an opportunity to show that. You no, know saying if you just give me a chance. You know what I'm saying? I can do it. So if you're in that uh, Florida area, whatever like that, trying to get a job, holler at Darren Holloway with legit money tees and shit. But as we were speaking, whatever like that, we were talking about how when a nigga come out of a, a, a when he buy a nigga t-shirt or when he buy a nigga hat, this 24 karat black on my head too. I'll make sure I tell nigga what it is. But um, when you buy something from a black owned business, you got to get on the phone and talk to them. Yeah, I, I support black business. 24 k black. Yeah, I support black business. But when a nigga come out of Walmart, a nigga don't say nothing because you're patronizing that um, that store. You're, you're, you're a patron in that store. You're just a regular fucking customer. If, why the fuck does it have to be announced when you go to black business, but you don't say shit because this your regular shit when you go to Walmart. That's regular shit. That regular That's what it's supposed to be. It's abnormal to go, like, you feel like you really did something. You need a reward, a pat on the back for putting money back into your community. Because at this point, if we can't see that we're not getting nothing back from buying not only shit from white people and white supremacists like the Waltons and, and, and all these other fucking places that don't give a fuck about niggas, but also... For you niggas to still be buying, I'm not. I don't. I'm not gonna go to this Jordan shit. 
But for you niggas to still be buying J's. Knowing what kind of person this motherfucker is. If you still wear Jordan in 2018, let this be a fucking sign to you, dog. If a motherfucker wear Jordans, whether you be male or female, if you a female and a nigga wear Jordans, at that point in time, you should know that that nigga lame as fuck. If a nigga wear Jordans in 2018, you should know at that time that nigga lame as fuck. And when I say lame as fuck, I mean that nigga can have money. Nigga might have, you know what I'm saying, a dope and all kind of shit. But as far as him being him, him knowing who the fuck he is, right then you can tell. And that's lame to me. If you don't know who the fuck you is, then you lame as fuck. You don't fuck what's going on because if you have to put on, like I just, I just made a post. When niggas put on massive clothes, he feel better by himself. That's what it is. Dirty as fuck. Ugly as fuck. But Matt, everybody know Master what it is. And can't no slave wear this shit. I'm wearing Master clothes. But here your brother is in hand stitched. Something custom for you. And everywhere you go, you got to make sure everything you come in contact with know. Yeah, I'm just wearing this to support my brother. Yeah, you know, I, I, I'm wearing it, you know what I'm saying, to support him. That's the only way I'm wearing it. I'm just wearing it because I'm supporting him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'm, I'm just supporting my brother. That's all. I'm just supporting him. Yeah, no, you know, you know, I use what Jay. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I use a polo. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, I, I'm just wearing it. I, I support my brother, though. You know, I support black business. In 2018 and beyond, if a nigga is still wearing these people's clothes, when you have... People like legit money tees. When you have people like 24 Care Black. When you have people like uh, Club Freedom Clothing. That have legit brands. That are actually live as fuck. But you choose to go to. Get the Yeezys. And Jordans. Jordans, are you fuck like? All the, I'm off that. So they on the golf course. They on the golf course. Oh uh, yeah, um yeah. So they head down here, whatever like that. Um, I'm not sure how they don't notice it, but because it's a nigga in Maine, you barely know about niggas outside of your city. So how in the fuck would you know about a motherfucker all the way? I'm in Alabama. Why the fuck do I give a fuck about a nigga in Maine? Uh, I don't know what, what Nova Scotia is, uh, but a nigga in New Jersey, Newark, New Jersey, or, or fucking Seattle, Washington. Why would you give a fuck about them? But the thing is, shout out to my nigga uh, Anthony Lewis. It's niggas out there that's just like us. We all going through the same thing is what I've noticed from this shit. Shout out to my nigga Big Body. Come from Louisiana. Niggas think just the fucking like. That nigga, like I said, with my confirmation that niggas really are on this shit. Like, every nigga is not retarded. There is hope. But it's a couple of y'all. And if it's not you, then it's your family members. It's a couple of stragglers that have not yet been awoken to the fact that if we do not begin to support each other, I don't give a fuck how this shit. And, and you know, whenever I, whenever I, I hear myself sounding like these niggas, like, you know, the, 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 the pro-black niggas, whatever like that, I have to stop because then you might you might get in your mind and I'm one of them niggas, whatever like that. So let me let me break it down of what it is. My nigga, look here. The only reason, what I'm saying right here, the only reason that you're buying those folks shit and, and I, I'm saying it on a clothes I'm, I'm taking it to the apparel level because I haven't been awoken to black food yet if you have a black food company then you need to obviously holler at me let's get some advertising and some sponsorship going on so I can understand about that also but I'm talking about clothes right now because that is a thing of option if you go to Walmart to get your um to get your food and shit like that I can't blame you because I don't know no alternative I don't you know what I'm saying? And I also haven't searched. You know what I'm saying? But on this apparel level, because I feel like this is pure fucking choice. I don't know of no black owned fucking, you know what I'm saying, Walmart. Or no, no, I don't know about that. But I do know it's so many fucking clothes out here. So many clothes out here. 
I got some niggas in Mobile who do the code, whatever like that. I think we're going to do some sponsorship in a minute. I got a nigga who do all, all kind of shit. I got niggas everywhere that do all kind of clothes shit. And I don't understand. And they promote hard. Prices are extremely reasonable. But because you niggas is lame as fuck, understand that you lame now. You can't make the clothes. I asked my brother yesterday. I said, um, I said, you see this shit right here? I wear my 24 kid black hat. And I'm like, you see this hat right here, whatever. You know, like, once you get on the level to where you really popping, folks will pay you to wear their clothes. Because he had just bought a $40 shirt out of fucking, uh, some fucking store, whatever. A $40 fucking shirt. And I'm like, dog, you just bought a $40 shirt, dog. You don't know shit about them fucking folks. You know what I'm saying? When you can get... I asked him this. Could you go on Walmart and pick out a whole fit and go out and steal pool bitches? Let's be straight up with it. Could you go on Walmart and make a fit and steal pull any bitch in the building? Could you do it? Yeah, no, that's throw off everything. That's throw off. If you cannot make the clothes what they are, then you, you're you not going to get no, like, you're not that nigga. You're not no trendsetter if you don't make the shit live. The reason why a motherfucker would pay me to wear they shit is because, or they play Rick Ross, Future, and any other person, is because they know that you set the fucking trends. You're not wearing it because that shit make you live. You wearing it because anything that you wear, you gonna make it live. You gonna put your twist on it, your thing on it, and all this shit is the same. All of these clothes that are fucking, it's a shirt with a polo horse. My nigga, uh, uh, Darren with Legal Money Tees, he put a um a man with a briefcase where the polo man is. What the fuck? Is, so how's his shit any different from the polo man? What the fuck is it's the same quality shirt and everything? But niggas will walk right past that shit. And that's the difference. Do not get anywhere on your social media and say that you set trends or no shit like that, dog. If you cannot go in any fucking store and pick some shit out and go out and still do exactly what you do and, and when you jade up and poloed up. Because it's none of you niggas. Let's be honest. I've done it plenty of times. Like, niggas will go to the store and get all the way, spend like a $1,000 on their fit. I go to City Trends. I go to City Trends and get a fit for 40 fucking dollars. And I take all them niggas' hoes. Hoes still gonna come up. You fresh as fuck. You, like, that's... I came up off of that shit. That's why, you know, that clothes shit is so serious to me. Because I really came up off that, like, fashion shit, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is important to me. So, this shit... It's, it's a mental thing. It's a mental thing. To where... You don't understand how hypnotized you've been with this shit. So let me throw in another person that's on that fucking golf course. Doshi Cabana, which is two gay men. Shout out to my nigga Dan for that information also. Doshi Cabana, Versace, Balmain. I was about to say Kanye West, but Kanye West probably in a bathroom somewhere beating his meat on some shit. Uh, Balmain, Doshi Cabana, Versace, Gucci, all those on a, they, they on a golf course, but they, they, they trying to... They trying to get the, the, the straight white men to show them how to play golf so a motherfucker put his arms around them and shit like that. Because all them niggas gay. All of them is. But they on this golf course figuring out how I can help you, how can you help me. I'm about to put an artist out that all he, fucks in, that all he talks about is drugs. I.e., let's say future. Ah, oh, that don't work right there. That don't work. Okay, so now the prison owner will give the record business owner money. You wonder where all this rap money is coming from. They don't mind paying their fucking mascots. I'm going to have to get deep into that. I'm going to have to get deep into that on a whole nother video. But just take that shit and run with it. That little example, take that shit and run with it and see how many connections they can make on that golf course. How the judge will pay the record businesses. We heard about Meek Mill's judge asking him to do a song or really asking him to do a song or, or sign with one of her record label friends. Is this really that far-fetched what I'm telling you right now? But the nigga AOKD, man... 
and I, that, that that's just my thought off Glock Nine, whatever like that. that watching his interview, but AOKD is no fucking different. AOKD, let me tell you some simple real shit right here. First of all, you came in the same way I was talking about uh, Casting Over two times. The reason why niggas didn't respect when you squashed the beef was to kind of shit, and it was at you whatever like that because you came in on that I'm an animal, I'm an ape shit. I don't got no understanding. You know what I'm saying. So when you ask niggas, what did y'all want me to do, kill him? Niggas' response is going to be, yeah, I wanted you to kill him because that's what you said you was when you walked in the door. One thing that fans ask their favorite artists to do is not to change. When you get in the game and you get the money, please don't change. Please keep being that same person that you were in the beginning because that's the person I love. How many of your favorite artists do you wish they would go back to doing music how they did it in the beginning? Or am I fucking retarded? Hey, okay, D, you came in on the on the rah rah shit, whatever like that, moving around. This is why these things continue to happen with you. My real issue is with that bitch you had in the video with you. It it shows how low you are. It shows how fucked up you are when you have to have a bitch talking for you. That was the same bitch trying to get off of him, making you look even worse in the video. You have no control over that hoe. If you had any control of your situations or that bitch right there, she would be behind the camera. As a motherfucking man, and you going through this situation, like this shit right here, you going through niggas thinking you a bitch, the very least you can do is handle your own business when you talk, when you come out and explain that shit. Explain that shit for one is some whole shit. You don't got to explain yourself. If it's, if it's, dog, you got junk. It come with the street. Them niggas, they wanted fucking fame. It come with the game. You came in on that negative shit, everything is spelled game. And so this is my lesson to everyone who's trying to come in the game. If you come in on that rah-rah shit, you're going to have to continue to be on that rah-rah shit. Everybody's a gangster. Because by today's standard, a gangster is what niggas, uh, what niggas did to P. What niggas try to do the game, what niggas did the XXX Tentation, what niggas did the Jimmy Wapo. All this shit is gangster. Breaking the niggas' houses, killing niggas, robbing niggas, beating niggas up. All that's gangster shit. So everybody's a gangster. Everybody will, will jump a nigga when they fit the D. Everybody will shoot a nigga. Everybody will do that. Everybody on drugs. So why the fuck wouldn't they do that? That's what y'all consider gangster. So everybody's gangster. Let's get that in your head. Everybody gangster. So when you come in and say, I wish a nigga would and all that shit like that, a nigga's going to do that. And all that's going to happen is you're going to end up like Bobby Smurder and Finesse two times. But you'll probably end up like Bobby Smurder. Because Finesse two times still has, you know what I'm saying, he still got love and shit like that. But look how much pain he had to put in and is still putting in now. Look at Cassidy right now. I gotta do a video about Cassidy. Don't let me do it. forget to do a video about Cassidy, man. He 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 looking bad, man. That drug shit is so fucked up. But when you come in on that negativity, this is what's gonna happen to you. You gonna end up like Young and Ace. Be the only one to fucking survive. And you gonna have to be so heartless that you keep on moving forward. When you know that you are the intended target, niggas would not have shot up the whole car like that if you wasn't famous. If you wouldn't have got on like that, because that that level of hate only comes from. A seething jealousy. When you was broke, nigga might just want to fight. Now, your success has made it to where niggas need to murder everything because they can't stop you. The only thing they can stop you is them. Niggas don't like that when you have it. This is what I'm going through right now. I got a letter today about some bulls. Like, niggas in Baldwin County. It's like, let me talk to you Baldwin County motherfuckers. You are really watching this shit. As I'm talking right now, you watch my shit every fucking day. You know who I, you know who A.O. Conseco is, dog. You really watching my shit, and you have not spoke to me yet. And I'm sure you have some type of excuse in your mind. With this, I'm saying, like, do you not understand how fucking gay you are, dog? Bitch. Because there's a lot of you hoes, too. Y'all just watching this shit, just watching the nigga rise and hoping the nigga fall. Y'all don't got a motherfucking thing to say as a niggas, you know what I'm saying, up, 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 going up like that. But just as soon as some bullshit happen, you motherfucker gonna be speaking like a motherfucker. And that's the issue with Baldwin County. And that's the, that's the reason why none of you niggas got shit going on. 
This is the reason why, you know what I'm saying, you don't have a motherfucking thing going on, period, point blank. Do you have something going on? Are you a somebody? Can I Google your name right now? Will anything pop up? Did anybody know you outside of Baldwin County? Foley, Fairhope, Babinette, Robert Dale, Daphne, Silver Hill. Do anybody know you outside the realms for doing anything? Have you accomplished any of the goals you set for yourself? You still on dope too, ain't you? You can't stop, can you? Not even if you try. Who laughing now? Big Facts Podcast. I'm El Consecutive. Y'all make sure y'all hit that PayPal. See y'all in a minute. Love.